What is going on everyone, Nostalgia925 coming at you with a new Digimon video. Now before I go ahead, I wanted to give you some little update. I think that most of you know that I am in my last master year in university and that goes along with many courses, a thesis to write and less time available for certain time consuming hobbies like doing Digimon research, which I think should even become an official course in school. <laughs> To be honest, I even think I should write maybe like a PhD about the Digimon universe. I sh I'm sure I can write like maybe 300 pages about that universe. But anyway, after giving you guys a small update from the Nostalgia Nat 5 community page, I received such funny comments that I simply had to at least make some efforts and little by little get back on my feet and make more Digimon content despite having all these things to do. And let me show you a comment before I go ahead and talk about the actual subject. Zero Krua wrote the following, I know you are talking about work, but since I watch your Digimon videos, all I am picturing is you going to meeting and negotiating with the Olympic 12, the Royal Knights and other Digimon groups to see when they are free for interviews. <laughs> Well, well, the truth is, whether I did talk to them or not, I still have to be very discreet and professional. So I don't think I am allowed to say much about that possible interview, but all I can say is stay tuned and you will find out whether you'll be surprised or not. I think we can get back little by little to the actual subject. In this video, I wanted to talk about the notion of time in the Digimon digital world. Now pay attention, I'm not talking about the Digimon timeline, which involves many great events like the collapse of the ancient digital world or the X program that decimated about 98% of the Digimon population. That's something we're going to be talking about in another video. No, when I talk about time, I specifically talk about what we would know as the day and night cycle. But in the Digimon digital world, I can imagine that some of you would be thinking that it is quite an odd subject to talk about. But please hear me out, because in the end, it might maybe shock people or it might make you come to certain conclusions. Now, in case you guys do not know, we all live on the planet we call Earth the third planet from the sun and about the only astronomical object known to harbor life. Our planet has the perfect distance from the sun to enable life and to enable things like nature, water, plants, animals to grow and thus sustain life for generations after generations. And when we take into account Charles Darwin's theory of evolution which says the following, Evolution is the change in the characteristics of a species over several generations and relies on the process of natural selection. This means that gradually, over time, species will end up changing depending on whether they survive and are able to mate and bring forth offsprings that will continue this fight for survival. This is our planet anyway. The Digimon world, however, is entirely different. We're talking about a world that was discovered in the computer network in 1997. And while you can imagine that because it presumably gained its existence thanks to the Earth, it does not mean that the universes, both universes, will work the same. Let us not forget we're still talking about a world where the past is fused with the future, a world where devils and angels are considered as inhabitants, a world where creatures can use firearms beyond what we humans have been able to develop. So there's a huge difference between both worlds and I was very curious to know more about the day and night cyclists because I have reasons to believe that the Digimon world does not operate in a similar solar system as ours. I doubt that the Digimon world has the same day and night cyclists as us here on Earth. And I think that that can potentially be dangerous for any living being in that universe to simply survive. Now let me show you a couple of pictures. Recently I decided to watch again the Digimon animated series, but this time in details. Meaning that I would take notes at the moment I would see something that might be very interesting for us who want to know more about the Digimon world and how it functions. And in Digimon Season 1 Episode 2, the Digidestined ran to different phone cabinets and one said that the time is now 35 hours 82 minutes and 90 seconds a.m. In another picture, Joe's phone cabinet says that the time is now 90 hours 99 minutes and 100 seconds. When I saw it, I was immediately intrigued by it. And maybe 
Maybe I should not be that intrigued, but I really couldn't stop myself and think through. What do those hours mean? Especially when you look at the background, you will see that you have a rather sunny day. So what do they tell about the Digimon universe and its solar system? Look, I am well aware that the phone cabinet might have simply been toying with us, or with the Digidestant, but as far as I know, the Digimon world has never been called Earth. It may be similar, but again, that is high probably because it is connected with the planet Earth through the internet. But we cannot simply assume that the day and night cyclus in that universe will be the same. I don't think that time works the same. Now let me go deeper. As you all know, the Digimon universe is one where being the strongest or the smartest usually allows one to live a little longer than the other. If I were born a Digimon, the first thing I would try to do is to make sure that I can evolve, or better said digivolve to my next form, as that next form should give you better chances at fighting back or to run away and making sure that you stay alive. And here is already a first issue, and I quote, they can download additional data to themselves which makes them stronger. If they download enough data, Digivolution is triggered. However, and here's another quote, if a Digimon does not absorb enough data needed to maintain the form, it will not be able to retain that form for long and revert to a lower level in a matter of time. So the Digivolution depends mostly on the amount of data a Digimon is able to gather. But here is the problem. Try to imagine that you are, let us say, a fresh Digimon. Meaning that you are small, rather weak in comparison to other Digimon, and aside maybe of the collectivity around you, or maybe some higher level Digimon for protection, the fresh Digimon has to fend for itself, you have to fight for yourself. How will the fresh Digimon gather enough data to digivolve to a stronger force? And another question, will that data even be enough to maintain that form? Think of it. Remember the island of Digimon Season 1? It may look peaceful, but in reality that place is actually a living hell. Take away all the plot armors and think back of the battle between the Digidestant and Kuwagamon, they never defeated the creature. They only managed to temporarily stop its movement, but even that wasn't enough, and Kuwagamon ended up destroying the cliff where the Digidestant and their partners were standing on, making them all drop in a river with a strong current. Oh, and also, when a Kuwagamon is capable of destroying a part of a cliff with its pincers, then trust me, there is absolutely no chance whatsoever the Digidestin would have survived that encounter in the first place. But then again, you know, you have plot armor, so let us just assume they survived. Take into account those other fresh or rookie level Digimon that are not partnered to a Digidestin. You do realize that their chances of surviving an encounter with Kuwagamon is basically non-existent. And you know what intrigued me the most, is that the Digimon fought in broad daylight. I know it may sound as if I'm running in circles, but hear me out, we'll get there. Let me read another quote. If left to its own devices, a Digimon will naturally age and over time may digivolve using data from the environment. Digivolving from the initial fresh stage usually progresses, but each subsequent level takes progressively more time. Because of this, only a sparse number of Digimon naturally reach their final forms. Obviously, Digimon will be less likely to digivolve when the gathering of data is close to impossible when you have a Digimon as powerful as Kuwagamon flying over the area in broad daylight waiting for someone to kill. And the worst is that I am merely talking about Kuwagamon while there are many other Digimon on that island that are as dangerous if not worse. And when we take into account the picture of Tai and Joe in that phone cabinet into account, and by the way, this is just a theory, let me be clear, so please counter my theory. I believe that one of the reasons Digimon have troubles to digivolve into their next forms is because not only do I believe that daytime is longer than here on Earth, meaning that the Digimon have more chances to be exposed and chased down by other Digimon, but I also think that nighttime would also take longer. In short, I don't think the Digimon world functions on a 24-hour cyclus, and at night, well, it is in the instinct of basically every living organism to fear the night and keep themselves safe. And in the Digimon universe, it is best to keep yourself hidden at night, because certain Digimon, like for example Myotismon, are stronger at night, and there are many other Digimon that dislike the sun and would prefer to walk freely at night. 
think of Kabukimon, Gadamon's armor digivolution, a Digimon that dislikes being under the sun, which is actually quite unusual for a plant species, and instead prefers to lie hidden, waiting for the sun to go away. Speaking of sun, this does mean that the Digimon universe has a sun, at least we know that, but it does not mean that there is the same 24 hours as on Earth. And speaking of armor, here is another quote. Armor Digivolution is an ancient fort of Digivolution that was developed when the digital world was young and it was almost impossible to Digivolve even to the champion level without assistance. This tells that Digivolving in the ancient digital world was difficult, and still that does not mean that it has gotten way easier. So my question to you would be the following, why do you think that Digivolving in the Digimon world was so difficult? Again, I think that the time might have played an important role. I think that time in a Digimon universe is still a huge mystery. My opinion, I don't really think that the Digimon world would operate in a similar solar system as ours, meaning that they would, according to myself, lack the 24 hour cyclus. It might be maybe a bit more, it might be maybe less. But here is a very interesting comment that kind of contradicts what I'm saying, but then again, maybe not. Myth the Fox wrote the following In Adventure, it was originally one digi day equals one Earth minute, as others have said. When the children returned from the digital world, an hour had passed on Earth. When they go back to Earth to fight Myotismon and find Carrie, this gives the Dark Masters several years to mess up the digital world. This is very, very interesting. Again, it does not really say whether they work under a 24-hour cyclus, but still, we get another point of view on the notion of time. And I really like this comment, actually. Animal31 wrote the following, One digital day is one real minute. One real day is 1440 digital days. Again, I'm guessing that these are under the assumption that one digi day is 24 hours. This is kind of like the hyperbolic time chamber in the Dragon Ball universe that has a similar function. The time you spend in that world, you will notice that in the Earth, only mere minutes or hours have passed. It is actually quite insane that so much can happen in the digital world. Years may be passing while on Earth, it is only a month or so. This should actually, theoretically, make Digimon evolve and develop quicker than humans. No wonder some possess the most advanced weaponry. Now, do you guys think that the Digimon world has a 24-hour cyclist or not? Do you think that the Digimon universe operates in a similar solar system? Do you think that the reason why Digimon have troubles digivolving is because over day and overnight, they are constantly confronted to dangers and thus are incapable of gathering enough data to not only digivolve, but also maintain that digivolution. What can you say about the time in the Digimon universe? Write it down in the comment section. Hey guys, thank you for listening. I hope this video kind of helped you get an idea on how time works between both worlds, ours and the Digimon universe. We're still talking theoretically, so everything can be wrong, but I'm simply waiting to read what you guys have to say. Also, little by little, I will get back to making more videos, but I must say that I am approaching the exam session. That will also be a period where you'll see less videos, but I'll make sure to warn you beforehand. And just in case, here is my Instagram and Snapchat account. You can always add me there and that way you will be quicker up to date as to what I'm doing at the moment. I am not done with the subject of time. What I want to do in another episode is to go in depth about Ty's time experience in the digital world and maybe add some mathematics. I think it will be crazy fun. Anyway, in case you guys are interested, you can always consult the different playlists I made for these episodes. All the Digimon playlists are updated along with other playlists. Check them out as I update them after every video and you will be able to catch up on the newest and the oldest videos.